So the ward diaries, besides giving their observations and where they are each day and, you know, the more mundane things of what they're doing each day, it talked about the hardships. And in the Gulf of Mexico, they talked about temperatures reaching 120 degrees and how at night they were all desperate to get up and get fresh air. And that was the liability of these U-boats. They did have to come up, and the reason was they were diesel powered on the surface and it was the diesel engine that would recharge the batteries so that when they submerge they're running off battery power and to keep those batteries going they would have to come up and they would do that during the nighttime daily uh, updates and many suggestions um, a couple of themes that i would see over and over in the two men's uh, diaries is that they couldn't believe how ill-prepared we Americans were. They would say things like, uh, shore lights on as if in peacetime. They would say, can't believe it, the nav navigational buoys are, are lit up, um, that uh, the aircraft patrolling are doing such a terrible job, they fly right over us and don't even see us. Uh, we had so much to learn. Miracle the documents survived. We don't quite know how they ended up at the National Archives. An assumption is that the U-boat headquarters was in Lorient, France, so occupied France, on the water, closer to their adversaries. Maybe when that was overrun by the Allies, some of these diaries were left behind, or they got shipped to Germany, and when we overran Germany, eventually got shipped back to the U.S. But the one we found had never been looked at, never been translated, um, just a real lucky break. And be honest here, how many people have said this to themselves? I've come this far, I might as well. <laughs> or to this next one, I've invested so much of myself in this, I'm gonna keep going. And we all do it, I know I've done it, but it, it traps you. And you wanna stop and think, should I continue on this path? And I can't tell you how many mountaineers I've interviewed who had this very mindset. They were so close to the summit, they could taste it. And all the information though, that's coming back, whether uh, whether night's closing then on, on them or not, is telling them, you're not gonna make it to the summit safely, turn back, and yet they've invested so much time and planning into it, they ignore those signals that are coming in and push on to the summit, and that's invariably how they get in trouble. So when in, you know, when in doubt, uh, remember this little saying, if you hear your, your inner self saying, I've come this far, might as well, you don't necessarily have to keep going. All four have a gold life saving medal. <laughs> Thank you very much.